and sparse. Welcome to Ashes of the Old World, Episode 8, Part 2. We're still in a dungeon, but we're having fun with piles of meat. Speaking of which, uh, Tarnok, we left with you and this <coughs> goo. What is you doing for your turn? I shift, I sift through the goo to see if there's any items or anything. Hmm. Let's check if there's any items. Oh, okay. There is a short sword. Oh, Phelan probably wants this. I take the short sword. You take the short sword. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll put it in my inventory. Uh, short sword. Okay. And then, can I still move? Uh, yes, you can still move. Okay. I'm just gonna do. Let's see. Fifteen. Twenty. Five. 30, 40, okay. Move all the way over here. Good stuff. Top cam. Zealous Terminator. Yes. I am gonna keep beating the shit out of this me. It's making me piss. Beating the meat, you say. So I'm just screaming out my name. Zealous Terminator! Zealous Terminator! Zealous Terminator! Oh, Christ. That's Batman a in our party. Apparently. And I thought I... W I thought I was crazy. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay. I will just take my title as Mad Woman of the party. Mad Lady. Mad, mad Dragon. Spooky Dragon of the party. Mad Dragon Lady. Ah. Uh, mad, mad Dragon? Yeah. Okay. Oh, mad dragon. Mad <laughs> dragon. Okay. Phelan. Bad dragon. The good dragon. Uh, Phelan. <laughs> All right. I'm going to slash this horrific abomination to pieces. Okay. Once more. Ooh. Okay. So a crackle of. Sparks and it is goo. All this goo. Goo sparks. It's meat goo. Still meat. It's just gooey. So does that mean combat's over? Combat has been successfully defeated. We have vanquished this foul monster. All of Tarnock. Did a, did a did a vanquishing you did, yes. And then just bitty boop through here? Bitty boop, boop as well. God, we managed to thing. Yeah. boop some more. Bitty boop some more. Accidentally step on the dome. Uh, I'm giving I'm giving a uh, acro feedback right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just so like, okay. Okay. Oh, I'll roll uh, with this. Yes, Matt. Um, this thing is dying, right? It is, yes, it is, pool of yeah. blood. It is. It is a pool of meat. Yes. I'm gonna scoop it up and turn the sand, <laughs> so okay. I can heal. Okay. So you I can Zel heal. Zealot. 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 No. No. Are, are she hydrated? <laughs> are you going mad from dehydration? Okay. I mean, we ha we have been in this dungeon for a couple of hours, so yeah, so I'm going bad. Mm. So, uh, okay, would that be one D four, right? Uh, okay, no, you first have to <laughs> succeed on a DC fifteen Constitution saving throw because you're eating fucking sand. Because <laughs> you're eating fucking sand. <laughs> All right, so if you succeed the Constitution saving throw, and he did. Just met it. Yep. What well, you heal a whole HP. That's fine. Ah, that's refreshy, guys. You guys should really take some of that. He steps She's over the giant pile of meat. I'm feeling so much better now, guys. Heal this <laughs> Acro, Acro's just like fucking HP. Acro's just <laughs> just sand. Audibly, just audibly says, and I thought I was the crazy one. 
it turns out I have a mu I, I think I need to work a little harder on that. <laughs> yeah, you got you apparently have competition with a with a wrestling garden gnome. Can I sift through the other meat goo and see if there's anything else in there? You may sift through meat goo, yes. Uh Hmm. I'm going to say there is a pair of boots. Awesome. Slimy boots. Slimy boots. I wave them in an Acro's face to do the Arcana thingy majigger. Alright. We'll just roll that 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 dank arcana. Cause I can't wait. Ain't nothing here. This this is indeed a pair of boots. Just some boots. Yeah. Before uh, but Phelan gets any farther ahead. Is there anything special about the boot? Anything else special about the boots? Ah, uh, yeah, Maybe could. Like really fancy boots that just need to be cleaned. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get out of here. Boots. Phelan. But before Phelan goes any further, I walk over to her, and then I hand her the short sword that I got out of the other monster. Oh, I remind you Back, of so... guy. I'm gonna say, oh! I go where um, you go. Thank you. Yep. He's gonna take the sword. The nope. sword's probably gonna be useful anyway, because something is probably gonna be lightning us. Yep. Alright, Zealous. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm surprised, uh... Oh, I'm gonna Phelan open this no store. It's about Akron. Do, have, Take, uh, have it, uh, doing a piggyback ride on uh, Arnok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna open this store, okay? It opens just fine. Alright. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the potion. Okay, you pick up the potion. What is it? Uh, that's gonna be an arcana check. Oh, what? An arcana check to figure out. Um. I'm looking through the skills here, um... It starts with an A, so it's at the top. History? No. No. Arcana. <laughs> Arcana. It's sorted alphabetically, dude. Yeah, it's just... Right under animal handling. Yeah, you, uh, you have in fact seen a whole bunch of the similar liquid all along... Uh, all around the, uh... Dungeon, so, roll Arcana. Arcana, oh, okay. The madman does a better job. I'm uh, well, it's liquid. Fuck this game, seriously. Uh, well, whatever, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna you pocket this. You are exactly this. a magic specialist, so, you know... Okay, so this, uh, clear blue, this clear liquid is, uh, taken? Alright. The madman. Just gonna pour it into a sand cup. Okay, let me just put it in the tree and sand. let me put down one mysterious potion. Yes. I feel like the thumbnail should just have Zella's just drinking sand. Uh, I mean... It pours all down his beard. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, I'll allow you to move. Uh, freely, you don't need to worry about uh, movement speed, speed outside of combat. I'm gonna right. call to the others. There's one more room up ahead. Yeah, there's one small room. I would like to check out if you were with me, yes. Of course, there's also this hallway that doesn't have an exit to it. That is an exit, yes. Oh, okay. The aliens aren't interested in it then. Okay. There's a chest in here. Oh boy, it's probably evil. <laughs> well, roll perception. Determine it's evil. Oh jeez. You know it doesn't oh. look evil. Oh, he will probably go whack it. Inside as well is another one of these. <laughs> so either the potion's evil. Or the box. Potion mimic. <laughs> you see, potion mimics are actually a very interesting sort of trick fight. 
Once you drink them, they are actually parasitic, and they start to attack the host from within. Don't give me ideas. Um, <laughs> Alright, so is anyone else going in there? Oh, yeah. We follow suit! Take it back ride! <laughs> I'm just gonna say I let Akra down. Like, here. <laughs> For no reason. Okay, uh, we went yeah, down here, Tarnop. <laughs> that is a very similar potion to one you've seen previously. In fact, pick, uh, picked up a couple minutes ago. We freaking met doesn't drink it again. No, he's, he won't drink it. See, here's the thing. He's just going to pour it into his cup of sand and then drink the sand. Because he's, cause he's, going, cause he's going mad. God, it's because he's hanging around you guys. I'm normal. Meanwhile, it turns out that Akra actually has an effect of, that, that causes everybody to slowly go mad around her. God, oh, that's why her elf flags have been getting more and more effective. Jesus. Uh, right. What? Yes, uh, it requires ooh. people to be mad. Mad Quite people. Alright, so, what's everybody doing? You got a chest and a potion in here. I'm oh. going to raise my great sword and go to smack the chest. Poke it. Well, I'm poke pretty it sure it's an actual. I'm pretty sure it's an actual chest. Look, the worst thing that could happen is whatever is sight is going to get a little jingle. It's not a thing. It's nothing. I'm just going to whack the stupid chest. Okay. Or you could tell me to throw my darts at it. So you whack the chest and. <laughs> It explodes. No, I'm kidding. It <laughs> screeches outward. Fuck! Yeah, fuck you, shit. And now we're in the Palace of the Dead, and that thing does, like, ridiculous amounts of damage and slowly kills us all. Because we okay, are, so uh, I run uh, over to the pole, chin, and pick it up. Okay. And throw it at this chest thing. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'll allow you to do that before we start another initiative. Uh, roll a dex, uh, ranged combat. All right. Um, Just like right, right potion in your ranged combat. Uh, just give me a second. Okay. Don't need to add any uh, dice. Uh, um. <laughs> that would be just scary. Um. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you didn't need to add damage, but here's the thing. <clears throat> this potion smashes against the mimic. And all of the the wood around it, uh, all of the old wood around it, actually looks like new wood now. Uh, you revitalized it. So what you can gather from this is it makes things younger. You mean this potion here? Yes. It makes things younger. Well, there's no use for that. Good thing I used it. You okay. might have healed it. Uh, right. Um, actually, speaking of that, uh, you're gonna whack it with your sword, so roll a ranged combat. Ranged combat? No, no, sorry, not ranged. Roll your sword. <laughs> <laughs> roll a sword along the ground. Roll a sword with advantage. Never mind, that's good. <laughs> oh shit, full, full. What? That is full damage. Ouch. <clears throat> that is still screeching. <laughs> Let's get back into I knew this thing was a horrible monster! Let me throw my darts at it. Okay, go ahead and roll initiative, ready? Dice roll, shit! No fair. I fucked up. Too late. <laughs> At least I did better than the chest. Acra, once again, is on the first roll. I mean, first slide. Put the slide this way? Mm hmm. Slide to the left. Three pops to stop. Actually, that's the right, actually. I just imagine a cartwheel. Uh, what you doing? <laughs> 
cartwheel, and then a the class. Oh, let's check its armor class. I tickle it with the tentacle. You make it very uncomfortable and deal five force damage. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I just want to imagine that thing making a, a face of discomfort. <laughs> just like... Mimic discomfort. <laughs> okay, uh, Phelan, what you doing? Alright, time to hit this thing again. <laughs> okay. Time to destroy another foul monster. Holy shit! I got a crit! Oh, fuck! You just smash this thing in two. Cleave it in yeah. two. Yeah! Cleave it in twain. That was fucking quick. You go for it. It was made uncomfortable and then cut in half. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. Anything of value to be gleaned from that? Christ! Is its wood made out of meat? There meat in there. Fucking Christ. It is wood. It is wood and mimic bits. Mimic bits is an unknown material that only mimics are made out of. Okay, but it doesn't have an item in it. Oh, okay. Um, let me check. Cause, uh, Maybe chrome teeth for me. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably a way you can make it in the forge, but that requires some uh, creativity. I'm and ripping out your own teeth? Well, not necessarily ripping them out. You don't have to do rip, that. Rip out your teeth, put some metal in, put your teeth back in somehow. Ow. Alright, so you you uh, you look inside of the dead mimic and you see uh, two, uh, three bags. Hmm. Well, what's in the bags? A bunch of bags. Yes, a bunch of bags. Three of them. Um, they look normal, don't they? They look pretty normal. They look like bags. You could, well, I could just splat cartwheels on over. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it does does a, a nice old kana. On the bags? Or are you opening up the yeah, bags? Yeah, I'm just going to roll arcana first before I open them. Alright. Uh, these are bags. Okay, they're just regular bags. Uh, Bela's gonna check the bags. Okay. And inside, uh, these bags no is ball bearings. There is oh, 1,000 ball bearings in each of these bags. Wow! A thousand? Uh, uh, yes. What? Uh, yeah, a bag of a thousand is a thing, uh, you get with these ball bearings. Uh, as an action, you can spill these tiny metal balls from their pouch to cover a level square area that is 10 feet on a side. Creature moving across Seems the cover. interesting. Yeah. You know what? I feel like Acra would really like these. There you go, Acra. Okay. <laughs> They're more her style anyway. Just puts them away. <laughs> you have now three bags of, of 3,000 ball bearings. Can throw these on the ground and make it really difficult to move across the ground. Alright, any more explore exploration going on, or...? Keep uh, well, we finished off this corner. Yeah. We might as well head back to the main room over Or at least, you know... Okay. Uh, the other room. There are, right. that need. Combine one bag of ball bearings together to make a giant ball bearing. Alright, so I'll let you drag yourself through and into the main room if you want. Yeah. And then can we do a short rest? And uh, get my key back? No, you're out of yeah. you're, not, you're out of hit dice. You'll have to do a long I thought, rest. I thought I had one more. How many hit dice do you how many how many times have you hit have you have you short rest? I used it once, remember? I didn't I didn't do it the first time, remember I chugged the two potions and then the last hit rest that we just did I used one hit die. Okay. Uh, sure, so, but I guess so this would be my last one. Tarnak, you're the only one with a hit die left. Then I also want to regain back my key. 
everyone just wants to wait for everyone just waits for Tarnock to take a nap in the fucking corner. Uh, is anyone doing anything with the yeah. forge or moving on to explore? Wonder what I could combine. Uh, I don't want to use the forge. Hmm. I don't really have hmm. anything to use it yet. I need my key. I need my fix, guys. Don't judge me. Uh, what? Sh what can you do? You know what? That witch's spell book. I'm going yes. to roll an arc again to see what it what it got in there. Okay. Because you know. Yeah, fair enough. Rolling it. Oh, Ooh. I okay. finally learned something. So, some mo most of this uh, book is like the ramblings of an old hag, but you actually find two sp two ritual spells in here. Ooh. Uh, gentle repose and magic mouth. All right, and. What should I do? What? How should I go about doing? What level are they? Two. Okay. With uh, with these two spells, they're usually uh, to, you you're, you're able to copy it into your own book, but that's actually going to take uh, a couple of days, and uh, well, some time actually. We will. Uh. I will, uh, I'll just put them down into the spell book for now, just the names, and then we'll work on the, the rest later. Uh, good stuff. Alright. Uh, what, what, what are they called again? Gentle Repose and Magic and... Mouth. And Magic Mouth? Mm-hmm. What is Magic Mouth? Very interesting. Uh, all right. So, are we leaving the dungeon entirely, or are we still exploring? Are there still more rooms to check? Or yes, there's there's plenty. There's uh, the whole top yeah. right you haven't explored. Yeah, we can make our way back around towards the entrance that we can. Yeah, you could. But what path do you want to go? Where are we going? These big rooms are probably more the more treacherous room that they got hit. Yeah, the, the the big rooms probably have nice shiny things or pits. Well, you just gotta be smart and I check for traps. Smaller rooms in here have been a lot nicer. Hmm. I want to go this way. Okay. Alright. Back pops on Tarnock's back. <laughs> okay. Back ride. Before anything. You are going to be shipped. Okay. Don't say that. You're like, Lizard I just Lizard yeah. X Dragon. Okay. Uh, I would like to roll perception to smell if anything is on the other side. Uh, okay, go ahead. Is there anything there? You don't smell meat, but you do smell something, and you hear something too. This weird tapping of uh, this, this weird tapping of hooves against stone. Okay, I'm gonna pick up Akra and put her down, and I would like to stealthily go through the door and check the room. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I put you down. What? Gently. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Stealth. Stealth. Proficiency said go. Alright. Okay. Death and move. Okay. And then, do I do another stealth for this door? No, you don't need to do stealth for both doors. Okay, just making sure. And, can I... 
Can I peek inside and see if I see anything? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I peek. All right. So you peek. You see uh, two pits that have already been opened, and you see uh, a goat. A goat. Get me to chew. <laughs> I should have put this on the map. Later. Okay. Uh, I basically just motion everyone in and point at the thing. Okay. Why is a goat? Right. Ramsey. Does Ramsey return? Oh Jesus! All right. So another, along with that, you see two things. You see this potion, and one I'm going to have to get to another pog for. Ooh, I'm picking this one. What is uh? Oh. Potions. Okay. I want that fancy. There's a goat and two potions. Across. All right. Way. Um. I'm gonna take a look down in the chamber, uh, like in the hole. What is on the floor? Spikes. Okay, um, he just turns to everyone and was like, Okay, guys, I have an idea. We're not throwing Go you. Go around the spikes. No. I am just gonna, uh, have one of you hold this, uh, rope here. And, uh, I'll just climb down until I get on the floor. I'll just get the spikes. Turn it into some sort of like a bridge, and then bring it back up so we can cross the hole. But we can walk around. We have a map. We know the land of this place. We know that there's a door. Yeah, right but you don't here. know that as a character. You don't know yes, that. Yes, we do. We have no, a map. We have a map. Yeah. Uh, hold Remember? It, hold, hold it. Don't talk all at once. You have. Okay, a map. I'm sorry. It's been like several weeks, and I completely forgot that crucial detail. <laughs> yeah, we have a map. You know the entire layout of this entire dungeon. You just don't know what's in it. Price. Well, you know what? Go ahead. Let's see what's in the in this room. All right. I'm gonna go through this door then. Okay. Nothing in this hallway? Uh, well, you peek around, and you see... this. Oh, fuck! Alright. You just hear a in the distance. Mm. Oh, the lizard. I'm going to motion at Tarnock. Silently. Goats moving around in the background. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm going to rush around the corner and attack this thing quickly. While she's doing that, can I simultaneously go with her and jump over? All cool like. Sure. Team attack. What? -ha! Acrobatics. Let's go! It's like a weird combo attack. Booyah. Alright, so this is going to be a surprise round, so go ahead and make attacks with advantage. Sweet. Ooh. Can I flurry your blows? Sure. Awesome. Advantage with the flurs. Okay, weapon. One. Okay. Two. Okay. Three. Four. Let's do some math. Ten, if this thing dies, the surprise round. Twenty nine. Go some, me, twenty nine. No shit, that's some good. That's some good damage. You have do, done a fierce amount of damage on the first, uh, the first turn. Twenty... Okay. Uh, back to initiative. Fuck. This is why you take acrobatics. Apparently. So you can move through people's spaces. And look cool. Oh, that's the first time that's happened. Dice roll! Damn it! Nice, who dice? 
Be right so, back. The sheer amount of damage you did, I don't know, you at least you get tucked down a little lower. Uh, Met and Phelan. All right, all right, all right, fine, fine, fine. All right, initiative. Yes. Oh. It might be. So I'm really more of, uh, zealous on. Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. For the first time. This might be over before it even begins. Okay. okay. If you would. I'm going to cut this thing down to size. Oh shit. Oh shoot. Sparks just uh, crackle against this meat pile as it impacts. It you hear, a, hear a loud screech as uh, uh as you do this. <laughs> Christ. Acra. Alright. Hold up. Turned off my mouse. Oh, I need to take uh, away a key point. Over here. Yeah, you turned off the mouse away. on your shoulder. I booped the mouse. Yes. It goes to sleep. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I cast me some, some of that, more of that uh, tentac tentacle beam. Okay. Cthulhu ha. Cthulhu ha. Yes. Plus three. That's ten force damage. <laughs> It explodes into bits. This was a short combat. We're getting good at this. And that's how you do backflips. Or Cart front wheels. flips. Okay. I did some cartwheels. Uh, so, Zealous, uh, you said you wanted to rope down and make a ladder from the spikes? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna go ahead and peek through the door here. Okay. Uh, you don't see any. Wait, hold on. Oh. More potion. Okay. Uh, you see a potion on the ground in here. Hmm. I'm gonna go this way. Alright. <laughs> go over here. And pick up the potion. Okay. Uh... Can can't make an arcana check to see why it is. Yes. I mean, you, know, you have a, a warlock, but <laughs> hey, well. <laughs> oh shit! Well, that's a potion of flying. Oh. Ooh, that would be very useful. Oh, let me combine it with my pelt, flying lizard. Fuck. Well, you have to do it right, otherwise it would just turn to another. Well, you do remember before when you were combining with your hunt uh, potions with your hunting la la uh hunting trap right. halberd that it didn't turn into a glass. Strangely enough, no, you, you mean the hunting the the the, 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 the tiger with the potion because I threw the entire potion, the healing potion. Right. Uh, what's up? What's up? Right. So you said you wanted to check what's inside of the gibbery mother. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a whip. Yeah, fetish. Uh, okay. Just whip. Alright, so you got a potion of flying zealous. Uh, what's everybody doing with this room? Uh, let me put this in my inventory. Before anything, I hold Phelan back, and I would like to roll perception to check, see if there's any traps or anything that don't fall in again. You're actually going to... Okay. Uh, go ahead. Yes, I'm tired of people falling down. I think everyone's falling down. Ah, damn it! This is a room. Shut up. <laughs> also, I would say this is an investigation. I'll just slide in mm -hmm. and roll me some of that investigation, I suppose. Isn't there a dungeoneering skill? No. Anyway. Oh, call it survival. I'm gonna try that investigation. Oh shit! Oh. What's well, wrong with this room? You notice something wrong with this room. Good. What's wrong? Oh, 
Well, whilst this certainly hasn't been revealed yet, it's there. You all say we could go around, but no! They didn't There's know it was there. Do you see? Do you see this too? I I'm just going to mention it to everyone. Yeah, don't go, don't go over there. That that's that's. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, not fun over that way. Oh, nice, not fun. I think it. <laughs> As in, like... <laughs> it's the goat! Look at it go! Come over here! Man. Come on, let's look at the food! Okay, so you go back into the witch's place. And... Set anything. Phelan, yeah, investigate! Yeah, let's investigate that door before we have another <laughs> incident. Fine, if you want to investigate the door, go that. Can I smell the door to see if there's any like poisonless oh, things? If we've taken a short rest in between, you're no longer poisoned. Alright, go ahead. Oh, cool. Can I please smell the door? If there's right. any like. You can or whatever. investigate the door, yes. Can I survival the door? I'm curious, do we have to do this every door we bind? Only, only if you prompt. Only if you ask me about it. Which would be better than dying? Alright, go ahead. So, investigate? Mm -hmm. I smell investigation. Nothing's wrong with this door. Oof. Akra, touch it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Alright. Did I just investigate it myself just because that roll? Go ahead. Nice, nice. I just fucking grabbed the doorknob. <laughs> okay, you grab the doorknob and it's fine. Okay. I guess we follow Sooth. I will hold the door open for whoever wants to go in first. I am the squish. Okay. <laughs> Is it Sal? Don't trust- Ooh, the healing potion! Oh look, another mimic. Yes. I don't want that gnome anywhere near. Anyone okay. crazier than myself, I do not trust. I poke Akra to do the thingy that she just did. I mean, what? Investigate the room? I nod. Get to the detective business at this rate. <laughs> All right, there. Okay, there's nothing wrong with the room or the doors surrounding the room. All right. Oh, Is nice. there anything wrong with the chest at the end of the room? Well, given your last encounters with each chest, there is a high suspicion that's probably another mimic. Do you, do you mind if I eldritch blast it from here because I eldritch mimic, blast positive. does. Did no That's... one take this potion? Uh, yeah, nope. Zealous did. I just, uh... Oh, okay. Just yeah, it's so pretty good. Yeah, uh, but... I'm going to Eldritch Blast while you go. Okay, go ahead. Just, uh, you know, hit that chest. That's okay. 10 force damage. Right, you, so you fire off a, a beam of... Phew! Tentacles. <sighs> tentacles. As... As you would have suspected, twas a mimic. It screeches aloud and runs to the door. What? Cool. <laughs> it was not expecting ranged attack. Get on the potion. Okay, Taranok, you take the potion. Yes. I recovered one of my lost two ones. Um, we can go back to here and get that potion if you want. What potion? Yeah, why do we abandon these potions? I don't think anyone noticed it the first time we went Didn't Cetrin get that one gate? No, they just left it on the ground. No, we were too okay. busy with else going on. This meat oh, monster, yeah, cobalt running off. Oh god, the cobalt. <laughs> okay. Uh... 
Sal, do you like tell us to wait or whatever while you go get it? Uh, you guys can go on ahead if you want. I'll I'm worried my merry band of misfits. Uh, Palin just just um disobeyed one of the big rules of dun of dungeoneering. Been in that Never room leave without your dungeon buddy. <laughs> Alright, so Cobalt didn't seem to listen. Fuck. Alright, so you go you come back and uh without any problems. Yay. Okay. I uh, still don't know what that potion is doing. Really. Alright, uh so wait, Tarnik, did you take that potion? Yeah. Yes I did. Okay. Make sure uh, I'm gonna write this down because I'm not gonna remember it. Yeah, no, I I made sure I put it in my inventory. Uh I wave Acker over and point at the door. Okay, I begin to investigate the shit out of the store. Alright. I, I like how Acra's become the the door lady. I'm the muscle. Zealous Terminator's the crazy. Phelan's the goody two shoes, and the well, nerd. As you've uh, investigated before, this the doors around this room are fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. I just, I just want to be closer and inspect this to see if it has like gold inlays or some if it's fancy. Ah, it's one of those bronze bronze door handles. Alright. Well whoever wants to go first. <laughs> okay. Can I stealth in? Go ahead. Because you know, we just saw a mimic we just skedaddled that that away. Alright, you stealth in and nothing is in there but a potion. Okay. The same exact potion that you've seen previously. These potions of youth. I yeah, slowly walk. What is? <laughs> what is this? That's something someone drew. Apparently, that's uh. Yeah, I drew it. <laughs> but go. Look at that. It is an imposter. It is an my interpretation of the goat. The mech uh... becomes a goat. <laughs> I guess I I wave everyone else in. Maybe maybe Acra first so she can do the thing. I will roll Arcana before Marcellus attempts attempts it. Drink sand. Yes, because I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna drink the sand. Right. Go ahead. Shibidi boop. This is a potion of longevity. Uh -huh. It is, in fact, practically a youth potion. Sell this to old widows. So they can go, uh, go put themselves back out on the market there. Mm -hmm. Basically. Be 500 some gold pieces. Meet, meet some uh, charming young men. <laughs> <laughs> I am gonna try and open this. Okay. Uh, hold on. Matt, are you coming with? Um, yeah. Okay. I will take that potion, though, just so we can sell it, maybe. Alright, fair enough. Sideway, that might that door might explode! Door's fine. Okay, never mind. Walks through it. Okay. The ghost Follow is startled surf. and wa walks back through, him, through this door. The food! No! Okay. Wait a um, minute. Thor, I do be careful with that goat. Yeah, door primal is... instincts just kidding. The door, the doors are open. The goat, just, the goat went through it. No, I'm worried about the goat hitting me off into the pit. <laughs> okay, you know what? Okay, so. I'm going to carefully walk in, but can I like brace myself? Sure. To yeah, I'm gonna br I'll, wait. I'll say you brace yourself. Okay, I wave everyone behind me. I'm gonna brace myself for this goat. Uh, I'm gonna just, you know, stay out in the corner here. Alright, so okay, okay. Have, you, have you ever seen uh, or played the game Prince of Persia, right? I've seen the game, yes. Okay. 
So the goat, wall, like wall, uh, walks along the wall and continues further in. It does a wall run. <laughs> That's so no, no. bull. <laughs> or goat that? in this case. Well, it uh, it, 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 needs the, uh, it needs that skill for getting those uh those minerals. Yeah. Yeah. Those goats are fucking amazing. By the way, just want to say. The goat, as exemplified here, does not give a fuck. Guess I walk up and pick up this potion right here. Okay. Uh. What is it? I basically give off a faint roar. <clears throat> yes, or something to tell them it's safe. I'll just scoot over here, because, you know. And I put the potion in Akro's face to do the thingy that smart people do. I will roll Arcana. Okay. What? That's a potion of fire oh. breath. <laughs> Mine! He wants Man. to try to impress Akra by pretending to be a dragon. No, mine! What? It was totally a dragon board the whole time. You do realize that I could bite someone and then set them on fire whilst biting them. That, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, so you take the fire breath potion? Yes, I take the fire breath potion. We, we need to go back as soon as we can and to I that guess, place. I uh, guess I will yoink this other uh, longevity potion. Alright. God, we're gonna be rich. Damn. Mm. Gonna be so rich. Ugh. Oh man. Uh, so, do we want to go after the goats or. That's screw going the way the goat went. We can't even do that. <laughs> what? So, you can't get past can. a 10 foot pit with spikes at the bottom. We could. We can go around a 10 foot pit with spikes at the bottom. I do have acrobatics. Alright, so zooming around, zooming, zooming out, zooming out, uh, you could follow it by going, uh, all the way around. I mean, we don't necessarily have to follow the goat. But it's there free are... food. That's true. Mm. I do need to put. I do need something to put this jam on. But you have jam. I still have the jam. Why have... didn't you tell me? Oh man! Imagine if you mix the jam with something. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, that was mm. Jam. Jam. Beforehand, can we go back to the mixy we thing, need... guys? We should have grabbed the frog and put it with the jam. Oh yeah, we can mix the frog fiber. jam. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, let's keep looking. Uh, so okay. let's just go through yeah, here and... Piggy back, so on Tarnock. Check oh, yeah, on the door it. over there. <laughs> yeah, door's fine. Alright, um, and then check the door here. Door is once again fine. Peeking through the door. Alright, so you enter in. Uh, you see... This over here, a screech as it walks through the door again. Chicken! Coward. And then it runs into the goat and dies. <laughs> okay. The goat is powerful. Using my trusty Acra backpack, I initiate the investigation. Okay. Using Acra. Acra does the investigation. You, I imagine she's, he just lifts you in the air. It's like, detect! As if a, an item. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this room. Carefully tiptoe. Okay. He. Mm -hmm. Or we could just throw Zealous Terminator. See if that works. He. That'd be rude. Yeah, he's very, ac he's very acrobatic. Yeah. Tipto again. Matt, come on! Wait a minute. All right, all right, all right, all right. Acro is, all, is fine, getting fine. piggyback rides. We're acting like the mystery gang right now. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't copyrighted, I'm pretty sure we could play, play some of that. Yeah. 
Okay. I activate the acro backpack once more to investigate the door. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay then. This is a nice item. I like it. Okay. There is nothing wrong with this door. Okay, we go through. Nice and nice. Okay, nothing else. Fargo! I'm just on. Um... And. We, 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 are at a, we live in symbiosis? Yeah. Me and I Spark? Yes. Can I stealthily peek through the door? You certainly can. Oh, that wouldn't be Okay, uh, be right back. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, you try to stealthily peek right through and you just hear. Yeah, who is there? <laughs> there's there's yeah. a couple skeletons in here. They are papyrus. <laughs> Earth kill them, rising. Oh. The skeleton wars. They have begun. Okay, so do, do they see us? They they see you and wave. Oh, okay. Friendly skeleton. Okay, I'm angry. Meet your, meet your friendly neighborhood skeleton. I surprisingly run out in a rage and attack that skeleton while, uh, whilst Akra dropping Akra. Back. Basically, yes. Okay, so this is going to be at disadvantage while she's on your back. I roll, Can I, I drop her off. first? Hmm? I fall off because like... he moves so fast. Oh, okay. okay, yeah, I guess. Yeah, if he's running out in a rage, how would you know? Well, couldn't I just, like, stand up first and, like, flex it out and then drop her? And... Uh, I'm gonna say no. Okay. Let's give it a go. I need to have I need to have some bad things happen to me today. Yes. Okay. A disadvantage on both attacks or one? Uh, both. <gasps> oh, I am hurt, Gates. Does a cry in your hot place where you live is? No more piggybacks. Okay. Now. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you you hit really? the skeleton, you hit the skeleton, and it's like, ow! Fucking rude! <laughs> Does it just look at me, or it is looking at you with sheer disappointment? Did I accidentally bite off a piece of its arm or something? No, <laughs> it's got arm. Yeah, maybe just hand it back to him as an apology. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, oh my god, Frederick, fucking guests today, I know, right? Jesus, and they just, they just leave. They're uh. <laughs> in such disgust, they just leave. <laughs> Who in their right mind would think of a skeleton as friendly in D and D? Gate, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I didn't crit He's them. He's trying to shatter them, their expectation. Uh. Do we want to continue or maybe just wait for. At, so we don't want to get too far ahead where if we got in a battle, then he'd be. Hmm. Or could, could, could that, we say he's tailing? Are you back, Matt? No, yeah, apparently not. Yeah. Since we were doing the mystery gang thing, can we just say Met's tailing behind us? Uh, when he gets back, if he says that, I'll agree to it. Okay. Well, Sal, right, you want to wait for Met? Oh, there right there. All right. What's going on? Uh, they made uh, the skeletons and uh, attacked them, and the skeletons were offended and left the room. Wait, what? Exactly. Yeah. The skeletons well, were attacked. And we they didn't were attack. Offended. We didn't attack them. Tarnock did. That's only. Are they gone now? They are gone. They left. They were. They were. They. They were so offended that they just left the room. That door. Well, okay, and then just walk out. Let's go to the bigger room. Let's go this way. I'm gonna check the door. Be more moving through. Okay, go ahead. I'm uh, checking. Like, is there anything on the door? Uh, roll investigation. 
Detective Matt. I'm gonna let someone else do it. <laughs> Yeah, see, when I saved what? the last time, you said, no, it's okay. Now he's telling me I need to do the investigation role. I don't <laughs> trust him. <laughs> I'm just going to roll, casually roll an investigation. Okay. Just get it. Oh, I'm not, I'm not that. Uh, there is, you can actually notice the mechanism on the door that if you had grabbed the knob, it would have stabbed you. So, how do I go about uh, disarming this? Throw the gnome. <laughs> Well, you either have to find a way to trigger it, or, uh, break it, I guess? Throw the gnome. Picks up the gnome. <laughs> Picks up the gnome. Me and Matt do a combo attack. Just destroy the door. <laughs> yes, with the gnome. Oh! But beforehand, I would just like to say that suddenly, out of nowhere, nothing happens as I'm splitting the recording.